Clean labs are an interesting thing in that usually when you go into a lab, you are thinking about how can things in this lab hurt me. In a clean lab, it's very much, how am I hurting the lab? Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Yeah. And so our goal here in getting completely suited up is basically to prevent ourselves from contaminating anything that's in that lab. Sounds good. Uh, so I'm Sophia Wensman. I am a researcher here at the Desert Research Institute in the ice core and trace metal chemistry lab. Then we've analyzed lots of pores from Greenland. We're doing work in the Alps. We're doing work in Canada. Uh, you know, we just analyzed, right now we're analyzing a core from Canada, uh, from the kind of the very top of Canada. Um, and previously we've done work as close to home as South Cascade Glacier in Washington. Um, and as far away as Antarctica, you know, so, so ice cores from, uh, from Canada look different than ice cores from China. Yeah. Um, and so when you're looking at these different systems that are sensitive to different air masses from around the world, you start to be able to pick out, okay, I know what time I am in history. So I know, you know, there would be coal burning at yeah. this time, but we wouldn't have let a gasoline yet. So you could start to be able to say, okay, this is a Greenland ice core. I'm seeing a ratio of about 1.2. So I'm probably looking at, you know, coal burning from this area from probably Mississippi Valley. Okay, wow.